the Alliance for Credible and Transparent Leadership in Kogi State has called on the Kogi State government to immediately halt plans to sell property belonging to the state government. The Alliance, while speaking to newsmen in Abuja, condemned attempts to sell property belonging to the state and acquired by past administrations, saying that the action by the current government in Kogi State is an act of mischief and hostility towards the people. The convener of the Alliance, uh, Salifu Usman, adds that any sale of any property belonging to the state is a breach of the oath sworn by the state government to the people of Kogi State. I am hereby call on the government of Yahaya, Alahaji Yahaya Bello to take immediate measures to ensure that democratically elected councils are constituted in our local councils in line with the provision of the 1999 constitution and also with the standing decisions of the Supreme Court with regards to the administration of local government in Nigeria. On the sale of government properties, the Alliance outrightly rejects any form of sale or arrangement of the legacy assets of the of the government of the Kogi State government and the people of, of the state. We hereby state with emphasis that these assets were painstakingly built by past focused leaders of the state, which the present government has woefully failed to either maintain or add value there to. How can you call the Kogi, uh, Kogi House, which is under construction, about 12 story building, opposite Abbey House in Maitama, a non performing asset when it has not been completed since you came, you not added one block. How can you refer to such asset as a non-performing asset? A hotel built by Prince Abba Karaudu, complex bridge hotel, that was uh, a signature of a kind. You, no, no attention has been paid to it. How do you call such, uh, such an asset a scrap? So the, what they are saying is just, is just uh, you know, a way of deceiving the public. But some of us refuse to be deceived.